right, it's Matt, welcome back to the shop. And uh, this is the misuse of physics. So, um, there are people that send me comments, and I've got one right here, so we're gonna have a look at this one first, because this one's really good. Um, this is by a guy called Elite Wolverine, and he just decided to splurt out all of this shite, right? He really did just go for it. And uh, he says, I'm gonna just, because it goes on, um, and on, and on, and on, and on. Like he says here, now what was like, I think a horse could do it more, did no observations, it was just like, they can pull twice the load, he was wrong, but anyhow, he came up with a formula, and voila, horsepower. The f <laughs> uh, so now we know what power is, no, now we know that, that so now that we know how power is work done over time, then power literally just means efficient. Pretty simple. Oh, I know, I know you know this story, but other readers may here may not. So the idea that power doesn't exist is wrong. You are measuring the efficiency of your work over time. Oh, for God's sake. It's a measurement. He's, he's arguing with that power is a measurement of something that's happened and is a tip. But this is the bit I want to focus on. Torque is not just force, it is work as well. If you apply force but nothing results from it, you have done no work. In fact, work is defined in physics as force over distance. So, work equals force F um, multiplied by a distance. It's the word over I don't like. So we'll call that meters. Right? So we get that. Yeah? And then he says which the formula for torque is force times distance. Oh, would you look at that? It's work. So if power is work over time, what is power what is that power exists? Yep. Right. So, he's saying that torque is equivalent to, is equal to work. Right? Because torque equals a force, force over a distance. Right, and that force is F, and it's times M. Right, but he's wrong. If you're looking at that, following that, and going, "Yep," if you look at work, the definition of work is Newton meters, because it's newtons and meters. If you look at torque, it is Newton meters. Now, some of you might have noticed this little dot and the lack of here. Hopefully. Right, so, what is the problem with this? If you get rid of all this, what we're talking about here is people who have read a bit, or whatever, or maybe they did go to college, or whatever, but they weren't listening. <laughs> so, when I get, oh, fucking, not, not the bullshit button. When I get the bullshit button, if I apply a force to this, right, which is a vector quantity, because it has this little arrow over the top of it, it means I'm applying a force in that direction. When we look at that dimension there, point A to B, we call this a displacement. Right? So this is our force and then we multiply this, we should really do that, multiply this by our displacement, all right? And this is in newtons, and this is in meters, all right? Fucking fantastic. When we rotate something, all right? So just see if we're turning this, all right? It is a center, oh fucking hell, a center like this. This 
is our distance here and we are applying a force at that point right and this is in meters and that's a force in newtons however you might say well yeah Matt because this is going around in a circle yeah so that's why the m is important no this is what we call a moment right and a moment is basically it's a not a moment in time it is a it's still a location so like a location in time a moment is where something is happening so this dimension here is giving us a force a moment of force where the force is being applied is what we're saying right so you might say well uh, prove it right well i will <laughs> <laughs> because let's just think about this for a minute let's imagine we've got a force being applied over a distance d all right like that and from a to b let's just say that this is one meter all right and let's just say this is a hundred newtons let's put some numbers to this all right and we can time that times them together you know so we get 100 n dot m right and we can call that work which is pretty useless all right and then what we could do is we could turn around and say well it took us a second right so we could times it by one second and call it a joule 100 joules or whatever right it doesn't matter when we pick a point in space come out of that at a distance of one meter and then apply a force there like this of a hundred newtons right we have a hundred newton meters so why is this work this is defined as work it's force over a, dis a displacement and why is this not this doesn't make any sense well it's because <laughs> it's because all we're doing is this is just saying where it is right it's not here it's not half a meter it's a meter it's not two that's one and a half it's not two meters and that matters right that matters the distance this moment matters right because if we think of a linear if we think of a distance well our distance would be around here you know what i mean because we we we're talking talk in circles rotations right well our distance here is actually not a distance it is a radius so this one meter here this one meter this is a displacement right this is a displacement this is a radius right that isn't a displacement we haven't moved out from the center right it's just where we're applying it yeah this is just an instruction of where we're applying the force right so like when i did my videos about talk talk isn't real yeah it's just a linear force you could literally get an, a lock ring with a hammer and strike it in a straight direction and it will cause the collar to spin off if you, you know you, you've undone it cause it to spin and you say that's got a torque but we've just hit it in a straight line we didn't turn anything we didn't twist anything and that's because torque isn't really a thing it's a force going about a pivotal point it's what and there's a lot of things in this and we'll get to it there's a lot of things in science that are like this and i'm going to do videos like this because a lot of people have given me cannon fodder to do it if we actually look at the distance the displacement of this right um you know we say right what is the the distance all the way around to do a full circle the actual displacement you know this point moving through space somewhere then it's well, it's two times the radius right so it's 2r and then it's times by pi because that's the the um ratio the relationship between diameter and the circumference so it'd be two times it's six we're more like six meters right the displacement here if we went one full rev is more like six meters so you get your hundred newtons and you times it by your six meters right approximately i can't bother doing fucking pi where this was a hundred and now this is well it's it's 600 
these are two totally different things. Oh, I put sorry. Let's put the the dot in there. All right. And work is a stu is work is a it's a mathematical stepping stone is work because time is always going, right? Always going. So to move from here to here, you are moving through time and space. Space time diagrams, right? Let's not get to that. But you are it takes always takes time to get from somewhere to somewhere. Always. Right? Always. So if your time equals zero, you don't there is no power. If your time equals zero, nothing has happened, right? That's how it all works out. So this work, and as he says in his comment. Talk is not just a force, it is work as well. If you apply force but nothing results from it, you have done no work. In fact, work is defined in physics as force over a distance. Yes, science! Right? It's, that bit's right, but it doesn't apply to talk, right? So, stop misappropriating and misunderstanding physics. And what I do love is that the guy's telling me I'm the fucking idiot. <laughs> Make sure you get it right before you call me a fucking dickhead. Or anyone a dickhead, just make sure you're right. right. It's not about me, it's about just people in general. So, that's that one. In the next one, we're going to talk about mass, acceleration and top speeds. Because people get that wrong as well. Hope that makes sense, and I'll see you in a bit.